let's go talk to Victor. Maybe Victor will give me money. At least it being daylight means I no longer have to deal with those guys on the streets, which is nice. Hey, upside down baby. Hey, lady who looks happy. Stand up. Vlad is right. Every Whatever hour we have more and more people. troubles. It's better not to be open now. I'm looking for the body of your brother, Victor. Do you have any consideration on this account? Yes. The first whom I would address to is the son of Olgimskdi, the younger Vlad named Karon. They had some mutual affairs with Reuben. He knows places where Reuben would bring the body. Have you already asked him? Um. Younger Vlad named Charon is a reference to, um, Hades. Just saying. I tried to, but now we are in a difficult position. On the one hand, we are pressing on his father. On the other hand, asking him about the favor... Pressing? It seemed to me that yesterday it was possible to stop all disputes between the ruling families. Then why did the he, he deny assistance to you? I'm going for pressing. The arguments between our families can never be stopped. Like day will never unite with night. But now I feel that Big Vlad's actions are related to the root of all our troubles. I do not like the silent apiary. Isn't it the place where the notorious murderer is hiding? Your brother was lost from illness, it seems. We've already, uh, we've already reconciled to it. I thought about that too. The mutiny in the apiary suspiciously coincided with Israel's return to the step in the beginning of the epidemity. Ep epidemi? Epidemi, yeah. Some stranger has penetrated into the town, whether it was Shabnak or human, it's all the same. Whether he is bound to destruction of Simon directly or indirectly, it's impossible to establish, but this connection is doubtless. Why? Maria revealed in her dream that the apiary concealed something because of what Simon was lost. I'm going to find out why Big Vlad was so persistently does not wish to open it. Ask the younger just in case. Younger Vlad is a faithful son. He is cynical, but at heart he professes the principles of vassal ethics. He does not have reasons to hide a crime, but he will never help us knowing that we work against his father. However, we respect each other. I respect such adherence to principles, too. I know where younger Vlad lives. Thank you. I know where younger Vlad lives. I've been there a million times. Okay, so I need to go to Youngblood. I want to visit Laura too, because she told me if I visited every day, I could get something. So I'm hoping I do get something, like maybe food. Food would be nice. Um. So I'll visit Laura, and then I'll swing right and head down to Vlad. And I don't know from there. I might swing in and talk to older. people too, you know. I want to keep everybody happy. Everybody. Everybody, everybody. Let's see how uh, Maria's doing. Yo, Maria. You don't go to in the house. And you can moan all you want, I don't care. More money, more power, more money, more dollars, more money, more everything. Yeah, you know what? I recommend this game. That's all I'm saying, dudes. Like, yeah, it's weird. It's not the prettiest game. The fighting mechanics really do suck. I haven't even tried the game, like the the firearms yet, so. Those might suck even worse. Hey, drunkard, 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 do you have medicine? Drunkard, 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 drunkard. You have bandages? I've got 20 waters. Radio, thanks. Bye. Meats. 
And meats byproducts. Literally. I'll need more food later. Oh, nuts. Sure. Sure. No, they have dropped in price. Sure. Sure. Let's do it. I bought everything. Oh, okay. Sometimes I get the feeling that my microphone has fallen off. Just because used to, when it echoed, I could, like, actually hear myself talk. And now I can't, you know? So I worry sometimes that it's not working. Let's go see Lara. I have a feeling that today is going to be, let's just stop in and see people today to make sure they're alive. You know? Don't want anybody dead. That's how it goes. Seems I have faded. It is good that the you have come. Became so shabby. Are you tired? Hungry? Very much. You probably know that all stores of provision are ordered to be destroyed. They said that the cause of the illness was infected meat. Now there is not food, only that we managed to pipe before all began. Therefore I have almost nothing to give you, only bread and milk. <laughs> Thanks, there's no need to feed me. You're not my milk and bread are not bad. Don't spend it, Laura. Save it for a rainy day. I'll take it. Thanks. You upset? Oh, I could steal. It's actually allowing me to steal. I'm not going to steal. Yeah, so what if I'm half hungry? I'm okay. Life's fine. I got food now. That's all that matters to me. Yay! I like having food. Okay, yeah, just take a sharp right and we're good. Hopefully I end up on the other side of town. I'd like to talk to more people. Have you noticed these fence designs? They're kind of freaky. Not like scary freaky, just kind of creepy. They should go this way. It's like... They're like bugs that are in the middle of stabbing each other before they fuck all right. I can't go that way. Fuck you, theater. At least I no longer have to walk that whole way to decide I can't go that way. If only because I've been that way 5,000 times and I've failed to go that way 5,000 times. Gained three coins from jumping. Ah, uh, guy's sick. We don't like him. I was there last night. Hey, can you mend my clothes? How much does this cost? Two seventy-eight. Twenty-nine. Thank you. Back to 100%. Better that the infection stays up. I am not touching you. Whew. This disease, man. Oh, water bottle. Water bottles. There's one more bit of Vlad's house, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, yeah, I know you're gonna be a silent house. You can shut up.
What time is it? 8.13. Took me an hour to get here. Okay. Blood? And the illness is really infectious? How can I help you? Reuben has disappeared. His house is infected and plundered. There was neither him nor the body of Simon. Where could he go? I do not know. I did not see him. You assume that Reuben is dead? Why should I assume it? Yes. If Reuben were now alive, he undoubtedly would have let us know about his state. Certainly he would not be silent about the infection in the town. He is one of the few who understands, well, what the fact that... what this fact means. But if in the dead house there is neither Reuben nor Simon, that means Reuben has attempted to transport the body of the keeper to another place. Otherwise, we should assume that someone has stolen the infected bodies of two people with the obscure purposes. That's so. You read my thoughts. I think that nobody would steal this body. There is no such madman who would manage to receive a repayment for him from the canes and to stay alive. Also, there will be no sacrilegious man who would dare to outrage upon the body from the pure barbarity. Soon, Reuben will let know about him, you will see. Listen. The affairs which Reuben has with our family, these are affairs of our family. We value his trust. I do not feel like having the knight the right to open the details to, yet I should not understand this from the bargain. Hmm. The family will win more than we'll lose, you see. No, yet I do not understand. I would like to settle the disagreements between us and the family of the Canes on occasion of our unwillingness to let emissaries to the apiary. I do not know that the Canes have imagined, but we do not harbor there anybody and anything that could represent any interest to them, especially for Victor's infinitely dear colleague. For what reasons you do not wish to let the inspection there? First, it is dangerous. The people revolt. I more than once spoke about this. Second, father will not submit to the orders of younger Cain. If this goes on, soon we shall obey the orders of his ten-year-old son. I do it not by the order, but by the rest of the cane. I base them on their authority, but on mine. Fine, what was your plan? The canes hide something. They have just the same skeleton in the cupboard, and even worse. Our cupboard is stuffed by our workers. Their cupboard is filled by another's children. If you are convinced, then, in the polyhedron, everything is all right, too. Believe me, that means that in the apiary, everything is good. It is an enclave, a chamber. So you believe that the quarantine is a reliable tool to hold the infection outside of this huge DOS house. The polyhedron was closed after the apiary? It was much closer to the po person with whom the pestilence started to spread, to Simon Kane. Convincingly, I shall examine the polyhedron and I shall talk to Victor. In return, I shall ask you about one favor. Help me with the searches of Simon's body. Hold back the just anger of the judge and the terrible Victor. It seems that I they have decided to become the death of the father. I am sure. Whatever my father has done, he is not guilty. Then I shall render you the service with a sense of the executed duty. Agreed. Okay. I might, I might actually swap up and talk to Big Vlad too. Just cause, I don't know, feels like a thing I should do, I guess? Q, is this my day's quest, by the way? Oh, this is another task. So what's my day quest? Did I get a letter or something? No, no letters or anything. Okay, well, what else? Let's head up to uh, talk to Big Vlad. Big Vlad. One moment. Shifting in my seat. There we go. Cool. What a bottle. No, actually. Do you have anything for trade? Nothing. Fuck you. Hey, lady. Made my clothes for me, my dear. I have nothing for men, because I already did that. Okay. We'll know it, because it's right up there. <laughs> 